And dancing on ice, you are now... Have you always been a brilliant ice skater? No! I can't skate. I can't skate now. I've skated for years. I don't know. Um, I have skated for years now, but it's great to watch. And um, uh, I probably should do it again, but you know, I never can because it's either busy or, or I'm in a point where producers that have other things like this say, you can't skate, you yes. fall over, you can't do your proper job, you know, it's what they think. Yeah. So, you know, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And I enjoyed it as a hobby too, it was really, it was great fitness, it was fun and mm. stuff, but absolutely terrifying as well, mind blowing, stupid. Mm. I saw something the other day and they said they, one of the girls was doing a headbanger, which she didn't do for her own age. <laughs> I had to do that in the first show. I'd only been skating three weeks because I was the reserve. I didn't have all this training. They said, they said oh, we, we trained from October. I started training in December. <laughs> and I was doing panto, and then, but I was in the first series. Mm. So glad I was in that first series because we didn't know what to expect. And we also didn't know that we could actually turn around and go home. No. Yeah. Because they just would say, well, when Christopher Dean says to you, now you're going to do this lift, and he's going to take your leg, and you're going to swing round, you go, okay. Because you just go, I don't know any better. Because what you do is an act most of the time, isn't it? You just kind of don't know to do it. So yes, you just go, okay. okay. Yes. Well, especially, I mean, what was great about the ice skating was that I had no knowledge, which I was completely mm. ignorant. And in a way, that's great, because then you don't bring any baggage, mm. because you sort of just are a bit dim and go, oh, yeah, whatever. And you have absolute, complete amount of faith in those people who do have knowledge. Mm. Um, and, and in a way that's quite brilliant, because it gives you permission to say, I don't know how to do this. Yeah. And after a while, when we've done something for a long time, you kind of forget that, that you, it's okay not to do it. Yeah. It's okay to say, I'm a bit lost here, I don't know what to do. Because you feel you should know what you're doing. Yeah. And, and, you know, it was perfectly great to turn around and go, they would stand, I'd stand on the edge of the, of the ice rink and then say, right, you can skate out to the middle and stop. And I'd go, how do I do that? <laughs> <laughs> so and that was okay. <laughs> anyway, I think they're doing brilliantly all of them. I do think they're doing brilliantly. I'm glad, I love Robin, he's my mate. And I love Jace. Yeah. I'm glad they've got Jace. Well, what a wonderful thing to have done there. I mean, if you'd have been working in um, a bookshop all your life, you wouldn't have had those... No, exactly. Exactly. Not I wouldn't bad. have ever thought of it. You see, yeah. fate, another thing. Did I ever have on my list of things to do, I think, only ice skate? Never. Yeah. Never crossed my mind. So it's much nicer to keep that in mind and see what comes along and hope it's someone takes you somewhere.